shiny. Ever seen someone so shiny? Soak it in, cause it's the last you'll ever see. Say la vie, mon ami. I'm so shiny. Now I'll eat you, so prepare your final plea. Just for me, you'll never be quite as shiny. You wish you were nice and shiny. If you take a life, do you know what you'll get? Odds are you won't like what it is. When the storm arrives, would you be seen with me? By the merciless eyes I've deceived. I've seen angels fall from blinding heights. But you yourself are nothing so divine. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all, it's Jeep's Variety Show! And now, here's your host, Jeep! Yada, yada, dee, dee, da, da. Hello, everybody! Jeep here of Jeep's Variety Show! How's everyone doing today? I see we have a Withered in the chat. Say cool, say shard. Nice to see that. I've got a Chia God and an Okami David. Holy guacamole! It's, it's, it's getting to be a full house here. This is delightful. Nice to see you all today, folks. I got a great show for you today. I'm going to make good on my promise to draw today. If you all are going to enjoy that with my crumb crumb bum bum drawings. But first, let's see what's in the news today. Well... Uh, well, I want to shrink myself a little bit, actually, because I, I want to see I want more of my hat on the screen. There, that's much better. Ah, yes, yeah, Sumio, the newly made mod Sumio is in town. Nice to see ya. Okay, let's get to the news first. Mm -mm. So, on my way to an animal shelter, because I like animals, so I go to animal shelters. That's very delightful, very fun for me. Um, normally, animals are afraid of me, or they give me weird looks or something like that. It's, it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant, to say the least. But, this time, when I visit them, um, they were all over me. The, the the monkeys, the cats, the dogs. They weren't hopping on me, but they, they, they were drawn to me this time, the animals at the shelter. We have seals in the shelter, armadillos. They, they're, they're, they're just amazing. So I felt really good about myself, and, and the people at the shelter told me that the animals loved me so much. They, they, uh, they were so happy that they said I could take them all home with me into a better place. So you know what? As I was walking home, they were all following me. So it was all great. I was going to have a bunch of furry and scaly companions back in my home here in this, uh, this stage. Except it, it turned out there is some jackass fairy on my back casting animal magic to make me look like a giant chew toy or something to them. Bottom line, they weren't seeing me. There's a fairy just making camp on my back, just sleeping there like a hobo without a room, and just fucked around with everything. Well, the animals went back once the cast spell was off. The fairy laughed at me, buzzed in front of me. The fairy's like a fly, the size of a fly. A little bigger than that. Think, think, um, what, 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 how big was this motherfucker? Think, think like a grape tomato or a cherry tomato. And I crushed it like one. That's right, that fairy is dead. Pugh! Mess with Jeep, make him think animals love him when they really still don't think anything of him. Fucker. Okay. Um, uh, there was another time, also, uh, when I was really drunk, and I was trying to find my way back home. I couldn't find my way back to the studio, so instead I checked, I checked into a danky-looking hotel. And um, I ended up uh, walking in on an orgy. And I won't say any more, except that I got out of it alive... But I can't exactly say the same for the rest of the, um, the, 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 the sex mongers. The, the, so. And so I'm just gonna move on from that one. 
That's that's just between me and the hotel. What goes in the dinky hotel stays in a dinky hotel, along with the bodies. Anyway, let's talk about something good. Um, the bee evidently has discovered a new way to hypnotize the weak-minded. He didn't know he had this ability. He's kind of like a Jedi now. It's so cool. And and he uses ability to hypnotize and stop drug traffickers from taking advantage of the disadvantage. And as a result, the bee got a key to the city, wherever the, the fuck that city was, and now <laughs> he is allowed to enforce his hypnotic justice without being bothered by the law in that particular city. So, here's to the bee. Evidently, that, that cappy bar can hypnotize the weak-minded. <laughs> and that's it for the news today! Well, folks, let's get on with the show, shall we? Oh, yes. What? Ah, there we are. Okay. So, first thing on today's itinerary is indeed the drawing. So, I'm going to start getting that set up right now as I chat with y'all. Good to see a Withered, Chia God, Sumio, Kami David. Just saying, just calling you out again. Let's see what I missed in the chat. Let's see. Sumio says, it's a mistake to give sharp weapons to a Santa man. Oh, I see. Well, we'll see how much of a mistake. We'll see how much you make me regret it. I just might deprive you, deprive you of it. And give it over to Wither, just because I can. <laughs> exactly, Wither. That's why you get a hammer. Let's see. Wither knows what he's talking about. All right, let me get the, the drawing set up. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now you go over there. Mm -hmm. right, no. Come on, stop doing that. All right, good. Jolly good, jolly good. How's everybody doing today? Is everyone doing well today? I hope so. I hope everyone's having a swell time this evening or late afternoon or whatever the fuck you know what i mean <laughs> i just hope you're doing well that's all i hope ah oh, wither's got homework to do sorry to hear that well at the very least i can uh, provide some entertainment she is doing all right nice to hear wither went on strike so i couldn't stream oh sumio quit you and your lies shut up okay <laughs> don't worry with it i know he's full of it okay uh Let's get that. So, yeah. So, we're going to start with some drawing. And, um... Okay, I need this. There we go. Let's, uh... Just getting set up. Yeah, you heard me, Sumio. Who, who in their right mind would believe what you're saying? <laughs> the only strike is Banhammer Strike. Indeed, Chia, indeed. I, I don't know if that was really a pun so much as you were just, you know, stating the obvious. So, I can't give that one a rating, a proper rating. But not because it wasn't good. Just because I don't know. <laughs> okay. So. Let's move on to the drawing corner. Hmm. It's blackness right now. Give me a moment. <laughs> we're in the void. Jake knows what this is like. We are in the void. The Jeepmeister is talking to you from the void. Enjoy the voice of the Jeepmeister. We can't avoid it. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm going to give that one a uh, 6 out of 10. That's a 6 out of 10. There we go. Now we got a Jeepster, which is good. Jeep traveled to Fig's house, says Sumio. Eh, I wouldn't say this is Fig's house, but... Okay, so there I am now, the bottom right corner. And let's... Uh, stop it. Okay. Let's get it up. Boom! There we go. Gonna be using this. Very basic Microsoft Paint. <laughs> ah, we're gonna get to drawing! Now, Sumio requested that I draw what I would deem looks like a human now. See, because Jeep was based on what I thought humans kind of looked like as a kid. As a kid, you don't care about mine. Think about things like, uh, yes, Okami David, Microsoft <laughs> Paint 3D. Let's go. Yes, says Sumio. I like that. What's what that? What's, what's that emote Okami's got? A pog. It's a pog. Pog one. I love that. It's very cute. Um, but yeah, so he, he requested that I um, draw what I look, what I think humans look like now. But to be perfectly honest, I am not very much into drawing humans. So that I will not really actually fulfill that. Instead, I will draw... Uh, maybe I will draw a fancified Jeep. Something like that, right? Something that um, 
and uh, maybe let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's, let's, there we go. It looks better. Nice big canvas right there. So I think I'll draw. Let's draw. Um, let's draw. Hmm. Okami uses this shit to draw. Ah, I see. All right. Um, all right. Let's just draw a Jeep. Okay. So I'm just going to draw regular old Jeep, right? So let me draw a fancy Jeep. Let me show you what my first concept art that I showed um, my rigger, which is uh, my mother, the one who rigged uh, everything. Uh, what I wanted uh, Jeep to look like. So I started off with the circle. Oof. <laughs> and um, I told you I can't draw. So there's a bit of a warning for you right there. And uh, so there's the circle. And uh, then I just did this. And then there's a big ass foot right there. And then another one right there. Big ass foot right there. I wanted to have noodly arms, and then the big ass gloves right there. Wah, wah, wah. And then we got another wow, wow, wow. In uh, in in animation, it's known as rubber hose animation, where there are no joints. So that's what I wanted. There's the circles, and I gave them fingers like that. Ugh, this thing, this pad, is so hard to draw with. Suma so says, "I just want to see how much you've improved over the years." How? Uh, well, that uni picture I drew should tell you. I'm pretty good now, so there's that. And then, uh, then I gave a little short-ass neck right there. Then I made the big-ass head like that. Okay, that wasn't big enough, but... And then you draw... Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Gotta Z that. Okay, there we go. Gonna get like that. And then that. And you draw the teeth like that. And then you got the little cigar right there. That, that, let's see, still better than my drawing, says Withered, I don't know Withered, I don't know about that, uh, let's, um, let's erase the top, I'm not gonna be the putting in the, ah, screw it, let's just put the gun sunglasses, so then you got the little square right there, got a square right there, you got that, for the sunglasses, I did that, so I didn't signify, then I just did this for the hat, Ugh, a little bit larger, the G, the stick it's going the wrong way that's okay and then I gave him a tie wow this, this is great it's looking just like me gave him a tie crossbones the eyeballs and I wanted it to be a tie and then originally he was gonna have a vest going down like this oh god damn it hey how that uh, oh that's how it happened okay so, originally he was going to have, yeah, originally I was supposed to have vests on each side, and then, like, little buttons, and I, I wanted the general epaulets right here, because those things make you look cool, and uh, originally I think I was going to go for a belt, right, but that would require me to have pants, and that was just a little annoying. Quando Chia says, hmm. A pin on a t on tie or a real tie? A uh, pin. I think it was supposed to be uh, up to your imagination. Okay, so there's <laughs> there's a really butchered look of uh, original Jeep. There was supposed to be vests on the a vest lining on, on each side. So that that was originally yes, curse indeed, Sumio. So that's originally what it was supposed to be. So let's just erase that now. Erase that from existence. I don't want to see that anymore. Let's just get rid of that. Okay. So that that's how it was supposed to look. Okay, let me try let me try writing with the mouse, drawing with the mouse. I think I can do better with the mouse. Alright, so um that was the original concept. Now let's draw something fun. So now y'all know what I was going for. Sumo says it's cursed, and you like the stanky leg though. The stanky leg, the fuck are you talking about? Mm. The fuck you talking about, Sumio. Alright. Uh okay, so let's see here. Um have all of you been paying attention to my tweets? Um <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I spit from time to time. Something I've got to deal with. Okay, so uh, once upon a tweet, um, this was during oh shoot, when was this happening? Uni Uni was just about to date re debut, and um, <laughs> I I retweeted it, and I told I, I did a quote retweet. I told people to show up, or else I'm going to use a death ray on them. And then she responded, when did I get a death ray? And I didn't realize she wanted it. I, I guess she thinks it's cool. 
death rays are cool. Then I had to clarify that the death ray was not in fact a laser beam, but a stingray, a large manta ray of, of my, in my world that goes by the name of Dorothy. And let me spell that for you right now. Dorothy. So, it's a super-powered manta ray that can shoot laser beams, because I love laser beams. And we nicknamed it Dorothy. It didn't actually have a name, but see, so there you go. Uh, you won't be able to see right now because it's, it's blacked out, but yeah, let me um, change the color of that that text right now so you can see the name. Let's use nice blood red. Dorothy, and that's how you spell it. Dorothy, right? It has all the letters of Death Ray in it. So Dorothy's a friend, right? I can't I can't order Dorothy on command. It's not it's not possible to do that. Dorothy thinks for itself. It's its own independent uh, manta ray, but Dorothy is a fan of Team Starstruck. So that's how I was able to threaten people on Twitter with it. Dorothy's awesome. So let's draw Dorothy. To give you an idea of what it looks like, and to scale, I'll draw a little jeep on the on the bottom. So today's drawing will be of Dorothy the Ray. The manta ray. So let's just put that put it up in the corner right there. Dorothy. So yeah. Because you gotta support Team Starstruck. Let's draw Dothy, to the best of my memory, what Dothy looks like. I don't know Dothy's gender, so we just say Dothy. So you can say it, or hey, Darth. I like that name, Dothy. Reminds me of uh, Sith Lords. <laughs> okay, so you know, I'm going to pull up a picture while I'm at it of a manta ray, so that way I can get some of the anatomy correct as best I can. So I'm going to use a reference. But hey, you know... Why not? Okay. Ooh, those are some beautiful pictures. Okay. Let's uh, let's have let's have a look. See. Ugh. Is that the bug that's been by? Let's see. Chia God says I was thinking the same. Sith Lord under the sea. Yes, but this one's a flying one. This is one of those manta rays that's not under the sea, right? If it was under the sea, it couldn't be aware of Team Starstruck, which is in the stars. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Which picture do I want to use? What's a great angle for Dot? Oh, this is a nice angle. Ooh, or this one. Let's go with this one. This nice picture. All right, let me just see if I can take this. All right. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Nice picture. So, that'll be my reference. Let's do our best to make that work. Oh, thanks, Withered, for the hydrate. I will. A boss fight in Super Mario Sunshine? Maybe. Dorothy doesn't exactly look like that. So, let's see. Okay, so we've got the, uh, we got the, so we got the, um, the little flipper thing going up that way. Oh, Dorothy's not blue. I gotta change the color. Dorothy is actually entirely black. It's a black manta ray. Beautiful black color. That is Dothy's true color. So let's have the uh, have that. There we go. So we have that going in right there, right? We have that going around. And then we have this thingy right there. And then we have this going on like that. Okay. Then we can have, we have this like that. And that's going down like that. And then we got the little mouth right there. Mm. And uh, then we got the other fin going down this way. Have this thing going in like that. And then we got the little stuff right down there. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. So now that's a little inaccurate. Let's see. Here. Did you never play Sunshine? Oh no, I played Sunshine, but it's been, it's been years. It's been a long time. A long time. So, okay, so Dothy has these things. But um, also, Dothy has on its back red laser cannons, right? Red laser cannons. So, red cannons. So, some good ass shit right there to. And, um,. 
And they got their energy packs on the back, so it's probably like a little bit like that. A little circle, as I, can, as I can recall. They've got like little blue energy running through them on the back, the energy pack. And then you got the, uh, the, 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 the for some reason, the inside of the cannon, I think, had yellow laser, and then it comes out red. So it blasts out red, so it's got that on the back. No, 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 no. This is not just one manta ray. This is a special manta ray in my dimension. Dothy is very special. Dothy's one of a kind. I don't know where Dothy descended from or, a, or came from the depths, but so there you go. So let's just let's move these around. So Dothy over there, let's put the picture down there. So there you go. Dothy right there. Let's just move this right there. We actually don't need that picture anymore. So there we go. Since we got the manta ray going on right there. And underneath Dothy, underneath Dothy, we've got um, little pockets. Pockets. Dothy has pockets underneath, right? So we got little like little pockets like this, right like this. And in these pockets underneath Dothy are Sumio's favorite little red bombs. Very explosive. Bombs away. And they're water resistant too. I think it has to do with like the blue circles it has inside of it. They have blue on the inside too. Again, it has like the colors of me, red and blue. So Dothy was like a good mix for us. So Sumio says, I like this Pokemon already. Oh, shut up. It's not a Pokemon. This is Dothy. One of a kind. Chiga says, Jeep Dimension is nothing to be reckoned with. Oh, hell yeah. You better believe it. You don't want <laughs> to mess with this place. Oh, oh, oh no. And, um... And now let's now let's right now um so Dothy's got those bombs right and uh, in front of those bombs are like uh, little shield things that open and close so actually Dothy also has armor right so it's like this Dothy has armor scales that kind of crisscross like this they're not exactly straight lines I'm doing Dothy injustice it kind of exists like that but um they obscure the bomb pockets right and uh, you know what Dothy actually has a Delightful sense of humor. So, Dothy would not be like that. Dothy would be more like he 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 he, right? Do Dothy's smiling, right? And then these right here, these are like radars. So they emit little sonar beams, boom boom, to bounce off, boom boom boom, to detect things. You know, Dothy has great eyesight. You can't see Dothy's eyes are on the top, but um, so you got these like iron scale things that. Open up, right? Technically, how you're supposed to write a scale like this. You write them like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. So let's just do that. Let's give some Dothy some something. So you got that. So and Dothy can fly. Dothy can fly. So you know, let's just let's just make like a little star here for Starstruck, as well as where Dothy is in the sky. <laughs> Not drawn to scale. I'm gonna give that one a six out of ten again, Chia. So Dothy's in the sky right now. Now, let's get you. A little tiny Jeep to show you to scale how big Dothy is. There's Jeep. And this is me when I'm six feet tall. Hey, everybody. There's Jeep. So there's the size of Dothy for you. My cigar smoke. There you go. <laughs> you got the little, little Jeep right there. And uh, that's how big Dothy is. You get to ride Dothy if you're kind to it and you're a fan of Team Starstruck. Otherwise, get out of its way. Mm. And on Dothy's back, if it really, if Dothy really gets upset, it has ice claws that come out of it that sprout like this. And they're like giant clamps, you know? Come out of it like that. Ah, It's fantastic. It's got like a dozen of them, so let's, uh, let's, uh, Let's, uh, let's draw the scale here. So it's got like another one coming right there. It's how Dothy picks you up and puts you on its back. Yeah. Going to uh, Tia God, is Dothy is the final boss on Monster Hunter World? <laughs> Too many is this. Uni has a chaotic mind. What the hell are you think? Uni? What's she? Had to, she's not here. I said, I will sick. Dothy, for anyone who didn't appear for her debut. Unless you're talking to Yuni, I don't know what the heck you're talking about, Sumio. She's a sweetheart. With a tendency to kill. Which is adorable in its own right. 
So it's got, like, like I said, like a dozen claws to sprout from its back, right? So and there's the cannons right there, the red cannons. Bzz, 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 with the blue fuel, which I don't know how that works. So, there we go. No, we're going up there. Yeah, I never learned, learned proper shading or anything like that, right? This is typically like a kid's drawing, essentially. But um, it looks good when I uh, when I um, when I look at a reference. So, there's the sonar. There's the red lasers. These red lasers. Heap of so let's let's start drawing some words. So let's let's just start putting some words in here. So okay, so here there's Dothy. Yeah, there's Dothy. <laughs> Dothy actually also has like some uh, a little some like, 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 like teeth going on here. <laughs> okay, actually kind of looks like a mustache, but Dothy does have some sharp teeth, so we can just get rid of that. Keep the smile. Sumio says she came up with Dothy technically. No, she. D How? How? I, I knew Dothy before I knew Team Starstruck. What are you talking about? Can she confirm this? Is she holding back on something I don't know? Drawing looks better when you zoom out and squint your eyes. Yeah, it's true. All right. So there's Dothy in the sky. Yeah, it's a Jeep OC. There's Dothy's wingspan right there. There we go. Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about, Sumio? Granted, Dothy is a Team Starstruck fan, but I don't think Dothy's body is modeled after Team Starstruck. <laughs> Hello, Dothy. Yeah. Let's see someone survive this shit. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Dothy the Magical Ray. Yeah. These things are very like nimble and whatnot, too. Right. Give it up for Dothy. What a great manta ray. Withered says Sugoi! Thank you, Withered. Pachi 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 <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. Let's uh let's save this. Yeah, so let's just put it in here. Call it Dothy. There we go. Y'all got a little look at what's on my pooter, but fortunately there's nothing really that important. <laughs> yeah. So there's Dothy. <coughs> Probably should share this on Twitter. <laughs> Dothy, the fan of Team Starstruck. And the little Jeep right there. <laughs> Dothy's huge! Okay. Oh, wait, no, this is, in, this is the Dothy one. I won't be able to save it with it otherwise. So let's just do that. And let's don't save that. And uh, let's just go back into the void. And uh, let's do this again. And I try to do like this. Oh, the Dothy photo was already saved. Oh, that's beautiful. Open. What do we got? Do we know who this is? Oh, I see. That's what happened. Okay. So let's get back here. Okay, so there's Dothy again. And, um, let's see. I'm gonna zoom the fuck out of here. Because evidently, 
there's more white on this paper that, I, that I'm missing, but uh, I don't know enough about this this studio to to find it. Hmm. Oh well. Um, Dorothy, folks, give it up for Dorothy. <laughs> what a cutie! All right, let's uh. Oh, that's my, uh, my, uh, my show for the day, my itinerary. I have that always ready and handy. There we go. All right, folks, and now some Jeep drawing for you. <laughs> I am no artist with a pen. I am an artist with a keyboard and writing. Ugh. So, let's move on with our show. Next segment I have coming up. With it, you may want to turn away. However, it's very comical what I'm about to do. So, it involves a certain trio. <laughs> a certain ridiculous trio known as the Crazies. Oops. No, stop that. Get me out of here. There we go. The Crazies, I call them. The Crazy Brothers. Those of you who are here, you saw, you all know Cowardly Crazy. You haven't seen his brothers. Um, they were early on. So here we go. But this time, you're going to see all three of them. All three of them together. So all three brothers are known as Cowardly Crazy, Condescending Crazy, and Cuddly Crazy. And this time, all three of them are going to do what Condescending Crazy does. Condescending, in some of my previous videos, watched Hollow Live debuts of Mori, Calliope Mori, and Galgura. And he was a total freak about it. He believed that there was some kind of grand conspiracy going on. And Con believes he knows everything there is to know about everything because he's informed and all. He, he, he's ridiculous. He's, he's like the ultimate con conspiracy theorist. So, today, the three brothers are going to watch. Amelia Watson's debut and judge her as um, condescending wants to do. However, nothing goes as planned when the crazies are involved. So there they are, con, cut, and cow. Right? Condescending, cuddly, and cowardly. Con, cut, and cow. Crazy is their last name. And this is just an acting, it's a skit. This is not how I really, this is not actually how I feel about Hollow Life. But it's more of a just supposed to be a funny skit where I'm not making fun of what's on the screen, I'm making fun of the people who think they're making fun of what's on the screen. So that's how this that's how this story is gonna go, <laughs> and I will perform all three personas. They have very distinct personalities, so you'll be able to tell who is who. So let me get into character now. <clears throat> <sighs> all right. Now listen, you two. I don't want any nonsense. I don't want. I don't want cud coming on to who we're going to watch today, all right? We agree. We, I won the rock, paper, scissors, and I'm going to watch what I want to watch, all right? The television, it's mine today. You two bozos, keep your mouths fucking shut while I tell you what life is really and truly about. And how do I know what life is really and truly about? Well, it's because I watch everything. I pay attention to everything. I am informed. I am progressive. I know what I'm talking about because I am conscientious of people's consciousness. So you two, just shut the fuck up! Why do you always have to yell, Con? I mean... You don't really have to reach such a volume that it, it scares my ears and my actual ears. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just excited, that's all. That's how Khan gets. Don't worry, brother. It's all okay. We all share the same body. We're all in the same head. Just do what you gotta do. Breathe. Breathe and hug your inner self. Breathe. Shut up! I said shut up! The one who knows most should always talk. And the ones who don't know shit should always shut up! So shut up! I, I think you should shut up. I'm sorry, brother. You know something, Cal? That was pretty brave of you. Standing up to your far superior. I'm going to give you a little gold star. Oops, nope. Only gold stars are reserved for people who actually deserve gold stars. Oh. All right, let's just get on with what we were supposed to do, right? I won the rock, paper, scissors because I am great. And rock, paper, scissors is psychological. The mind is everything. Who gives a shit about caring when you can think all the time? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. 
There we go. So I'm a, we are aware of her compatriots. That Mori person and that Gura person. That, that Sharky. Let's see what she has in store for us. This detective. I have respect for detectives. They think a lot and they investigate a lot. Thinking is what makes you God. Knowledge is power. I have all the knowledge. Therefore, I am all the power. You know... Does anyone else feel like wanking off at the end of this? Because touching your penis just feels great at the end. No? Just me? Okay, let's watch the video. Oh, I'm already scared. This black void is scaring me. Shut up, cow. Shut up. Well, well, well. What have we here? We got an ad problem. Okay, what the fuck are these things? Okay, okay. Here's the problem right here already. Okay, what we can, what, what can we surmise from this? What do we see here, people? What do we see here? We see little icons appearing, right? Little shitty icons of the attempt to control and manipulate our minds. Let's just make this a little more widescreen. There we go. So, and how do I know that this is true? Because I did investigating. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You don't know what you're talking about? Look at those letters. The O's and the L's. They're long like dicks and the O's are small like balls. You just want to tickle them and see how they laugh. <laughs> I just, I just want this to be over with and I just, I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to watch this anymore. Can we watch something else? Can we watch, like, nothing? And, and I can close my eyes and everyone just, you know, is, is like, you know, you know? You know what I mean, bros? You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. You gotta speak a lot more clear than that, cow. Khan, you want a hug? You can't hug me. We're in the same head. Okay, you want a mental hug? Mental hug! Ooh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Let's get on with this. See the magnifying glass? This signifies, like, she's trying to look deep into our souls. She's looking at the souls of all those stickers that are going across the screen. I think she's just looking for some place to stick it. And I might, if I stick it, <laughs> I mean stick her love. <laughs> How do we know it's a her? How do we know it's a her? Do you know it's a her? Do you know? Are you informed about something I'm unaware of? Cough, cud? 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 Cough it up. I'm not coughing anything up. You gotta make me cough it up, brother. I'm not gonna make you cough up shit. I, uh, this music is really terrifying. Shut up! Oh, oh my, it's lasting so long, I can really jam to this. Who wants to hug, 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 gug, gug, hug, gug, 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 a hug, gug, 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 gug. Cud, if you say hug, gug, 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 gug again, I'm gonna hug, gug, 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 rip your nutsack off. We're in the same body, you can't do that. I can do it. I know how to surgically and systematically and perfectly because I study medicine, because medicine is the way of the future of power and success and sexiness. I know how to remove my nutsack and hurt only you. That is so cruel. And, and yet kind of, I, can you do that? I want to see what that's like. You really want to know what that's like? No, no, no! They're my nuts too, guys! Come on, bros! They're my nuts too! That's Don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> Saved by the cow. <laughs> ah, the music stopped finally. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, there are oranges! It's a- it's an ad of a sort! Oh, so cute! I wanna hug it! <gasps> Explosions! I wanna hug it! I wanna also smell it! And oh, fuck you, we're skipping that. Hey! She was cute! She needed a hug! Shut up. Okay, fine. Watson, okay. Got a little machine going on right here. I see, I see. Trying to turn us all into mechanical slaves. I see. I just think it's gonna kill us. Look at that. Look, it's eating cards. That means when you eat cards, it's one step away from eating our hearts and our bodies and our limbs. Oh my god, an air accepted. It, it, it has a taste. It has a flavor. It has a flavor. It wants to... Oh, don't do this with me. Don't do this to me. Shh. No, it's hugging it. It's hugging it. It's sucking the hugging. It's hug sucking. Hug sucking. No, no, no. It's telling everybody that it wants to control our minds. It's telling people that want to control our minds. I know this. I study. I study. Studying makes you powerful. I know that's what it is. Shut up. It's black again. The void is back. I'm scared again. Uh, can't you? Uh, look, look, look at this. Look how, look how it's sliding across. Look, look. If we just dance like that and rub our bodies up against it, oh, we can just, oh, 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 oh I can cuddle all day. Cud. When can't you cuddle? When the fuck can't you cuddle? <laughs> I get it. I get it. You're trying to control our minds with mustaches. But also, the time indicates that you know what time it all is because you're always looking at clocks. Oh, bravo. Like, I couldn't see that coming. Blah, blah, blah. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I'm horny. Who wants to hug? 
Shut up. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. I hear voices in my head right now. Someone named Joger. Joger says, what the fuck did I just stop, jump into? The voice in my head says that. Well, let me pause this because I have the power to stop time. Whoa. Well, Joger, in my mind, I'm going to step out and let Jeep take over for a second. This Jeep person who apparently, you know, talks a lot. Hey, uh, Jorge, um, what this is, is I'm performing three different personalities, and they are watching Amelia Watson's, uh, debut. Uh, one of them is condescending guy, the other one is cuddly guy, and the other one is cowardly guy. And, uh, the crazy is their last name. So I'm shuffling between three personalities while watching a video, and they're all brothers, and they all inhabit the same body. So this is just acting, this is not actually how I feel about Amelia Watson, they're just a bunch of crazy guys going nuts. <clears throat> so... That's what this is. All right, let me get back into character again. More music. Music soothes the body and manipulates. Manipulates us, right? Subconsciously, subliminally. Think about that. See, like the magnifying glass. Ah! A forehead with a Okay, um, that looks cute, but I need more to hug. <gasps> it has eyes. Oh, I can do so many things with eyes. It's got eyes. It's got eyes. Of course it's got eyes. It's a thinker. Anything I can think has eyes. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, emerge. Emerge from your desk. Oh, it's cute. Oh, what did it say? What did it say? Con, con, con. Can you rewind that? Shut up, Cal. <gasps> ah! It speaks the language of the siren. Ah! <laughs> Stop it! Turn it off now! Turn it off now! I can't take this! No, no! We need to study it! We need to see what its, what its intentions are! We need to know exactly what it plans to do! We have to think! Think like all the thinkers! We gotta think like scientists who study and stick their noses in everything to control everything! We gotta be just like that! Oh, oh, I just, I just wanna, I just, I just wanna stick my hand. Oh, we're doing great! How are you? She, it can't hear us, Con. Uh, cud. I'm Con. You got me saying the wrong name. Cud, it can't hear us, okay? It, it clearly is thinking. It's talking to those little scribbly words on the bottom left hand right there. Can't you see that shit right there? Aren't you paying attention? Oh, I'm paying attention. I'm taking notes. I am taking so many notes of every one of those names, and I'm going to visit every one of them in the night, and I'm going to be standing over them butt-ass naked and with just a little fuzzy sock over my good parts, and I'm going to ask them, So... Touch the first thing you feel comfortable touching. Oh! I'm just closing my eyes. Tell me when it's over. And I'm covering my ears. But don't touch me because that'll scare me too much, alright? Just, 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 just tell me when it's done. How can we tell you when it's done if you're covering your fucking ears? What did you say? Ah! Okay, so this one screams a lot. The shark one obviously said shark a lot as an attempt to use repetition to brainwash us. This one's, I think, attempting to look like she is, um, it is a she. Right, I'm gonna assume it's a she. Okay, she's excited. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're, well, of course you're small. Everyone's small compared to my greatness. But, um, that's, oh, she's small. She's chibi. She's cute. Let's get rid of that ad right there. That's ugly. Oh, I want to hug you. Oh, my God, she is scary up close. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Cal, I get the fear now. Keep your eyes closed. Don't look. What? Shut up. What? Shut up. Oh, I heard that. Oh, that was loud on my ears. I gotta cover my ears more. Oh, so cute. Oh, no, don't go away. I want to touch you more. I want to touch you more. I want to lick you. I want to... Okay, well, licking it with, with permission. I, 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 I do not do things without permission. I always ask if you want to be touched and shut up. This is important. I can tell this. She's getting something important. We can see something really, really, really crucial here that'll give us insight on how to take over. And what the fuck's with that weird top of the forehead black and white picture guy down there? What the fuck is that? Is that what is that? Like like her father or something? Or brother? Or, or, or like a lover or something? What the fuck? That is creepy. Amelia Watson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read that already. You didn't have to say that again. Mm-hmm. D-O-B, Dob. You know, Dob does not stand for date of birth like many people think. It actually stands for death of body. Therefore, that's making you think they are alive, but they are in fact actually dead. I don't think it stands for that personally. I think date of birth stands for dicks over body. <laughs> or dong on body. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna open my eyes now because I'm assuming it's over because I can't hear anything because I just I'm okay. Uh, Ah, she said bananas when I opened my eyes! I hate bananas! Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off! I'm gonna do it! Hey, hey, stop it! Stop it! Cow, you motherfucker! We are getting to the most crucial part! I'm sorry. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it anymore. Can you forgive me? Oh, I forgive you. Come here, group hug! <sighs> Well, okay. If there's anything I could take away from this incident, it's that my brothers fucked with this mission. The mission to understand Hollow Life and their people. But, but, I can definitely say that that one was probably the strongest of the lot that I've seen so far. Strictly for the fact that its date of, uh, its death of body, the DOB, was on January the 6th. And that is a hell insignia. January 6th, Jen, hell, and I know these things, you just have to trust me. No one has to trust you, they just need to tell you to shut up. Okay, I've had it. I'm going to watch this video on my own time and discern the subliminals and the underlying threats that are always at siege on our society, and I alone will save us all. Because I am informed. Hey, um, who, who wants to do some drugs right now? I could do some drugs, because otherwise I go crazy and I can't see shit, and, and uh, just out of fear. Who wants to do some drugs? I got drugs. I like drugs. Let's do some drugs. Fine, we'll do drugs, and then I'm getting away from you. Yeah, yeah, drugs are good. Drugs are good. Performance over! <laughs> that was my first time revealing that actually all three crazies... Inhabit the same body. So there are three different personalities trapped in one mind. <laughs> wow, that was my most chaotic one. It is difficult switching between the personalities and keeping the, the comedy fresh. Whew. Whew. Okay. Yes, Chia. Cow is scared of bananas, but Cow's afraid of everything. All right. Pour myself some more tea. That trio wreaks havoc on the vocal cords. <laughs> so I'm just reading too much Shakespeare, actually. Okay, there we go. Ah, it's all good. Okay. Whew. Let's, um, it's over now, Withered, and if you want to open your eyes. <laughs> Let's see now. What's next on tonight's to do? Let's have it. Let me have a look. Uh, that's done. That's done. That's done. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Ah. Damn it. Here we go. I'm sure, y'all can tell by my depressed demeanor what is coming up. Those of you familiar with the show. By the way, Jorge, nice to see you. <sighs> Hope you're doing well this uh, this night. Um, so, so yeah, uh, <laughs> we've got. Um, since today is not a guest day, I have to be. See, my guests when they show up, they often cover the costs, you know, the the overhead costs of maintaining this studio. But on Tuesday nights, I don't have a guest. It's just little old Jeep here. And as a result of just little old Jeep here, um, well, how do I put this? <clears throat> I need sponsors. And of course, that means stupid sponsors in Jeep's world. The sponsor is too ridiculous and too cheap to go anywhere else, but they come to my show because I'm the only one who will take them because I need to pay the bills. Damn it. All right, here we go. So, folks, without further ado, unfortunately, here's tonight's stupid sponsor. Let's uh, let's take a look. Oh. 
hungry for lean, nutritious, indulgent, fiber-filled, vitamin-rich, exotic, yet affordable meats? Look no further than this! Canned capybara. It doesn't get better than these furry bastards and bitches and- Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, what the fuck? No, 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 no! Canned capybara? Are you fucking kidding me? Those assholes! Okay, whoever these people are, I'm gonna have to look at, at who, who signed me up for this. Who the fuck? Okay, I see the company name. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask Dorothy to take care of a certain company. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call the B right now and tell him. Okay, so, let me know. There we go. Alright, the phone's going, and there we go. Yeah, B. Yeah, I got this fucking piece of shit sponsor that makes canned... Yeah, canned capybara. Oh. Ooh. You're with Dorothy right now? The two of you are going to take them down? You want some help? You sure? I mean, I, I'm, I love blood as much as the next person. Violence is always fun. Especially when you're doing it to the right people. No? You sure? Alright, if you say so. Tell Dorothy I said hi. Alright, bye. Love you, bro. Ah. Well, folks, you heard it. My work is already done. The bee and Dorothy are on it. <laughs> Canned capybara. The fuck? I'm gonna throw that video out. Once the company's done, though. Because I may have to keep it, you know, so I can find them in case there's anyone left. Thank you, Chia, for supporting the bee. Yes, oh no, indeed, indeed, with it, indeed. Can't have that. Can't have that. Nope. Hmm. Alright. Let's, um... Let's move on to Celebration Appreciation, shall we, folks? Yes, I think that's a good idea. So... For all of you caught the hints I was making for it, I wonder if any, any of you know which, what I'm talking about. Um... The hints I gave were, watch out for that tree, tree hugging, I think. Oh, excuse me. I think you should be able to tell what this one is. It's a classic in its own right. Not one of my favorite movies, but certainly, in my opinion, doesn't deserve the hate it gets. I actually really enjoy this. Um, well, not really, really enjoy I do enjoy this movie. It's very fun. I got some funny-ass trivia about it, too, in, in my life to talk about it. So, let's, uh, let's start it up. Uh, where is it? Uh, here we go. So today's celebration of appreciation. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta put the. Uh, there we go. Today we are celebrating the Disney movie George of the Jungle, a very young and very in shape Brendan Fraser. So okay, like I said, not one of my favorite movies, but definitely enjoyable. Even to this day, I've watched I don't know once more. I want to say about a year or two ago, and it still makes me laugh. It's still enjoyable. It's still sweet. It has the nice, good, campy family story stuff. But I really enjoy it. And um, this one, Sumio is back to doing some thumbnails. Ah, delightful. So, oh, you like this movie? Oh, no, I'm glad to hear that, Sumio. Yes, this movie is very fun. And um, like I said, I don't think it deserves the, the, the hate it gets because it, it's just wackiness. It's goofy, it's fun. Brendan Fraser does actually a great job as the fish out of water kind of story. Um, uh, King of the Jungle. Lion King reference was hilarious in the end. And um, Ape, of course, voiced by the wonderful John Cleese. Um, Ape named Ape. And uh, uh, there's not really much of the story. Oh, oh, okay, so, and also, okay, the actor, oh, what's his name? What's the actor's name? He, um, he's actually quite buff, right? He played Sandman in Spider-Man 3, and he's in this as the antagonist, Lyle Vandegroot, but re also really thin in this one. Not at all bulked out like he normally is. What the hell is his name? Um, he's in this comical movie. And so, and um, my brother and I, as kids, loved the final action scene and um, <laughs> versus the two thugs who are trying to kidnap uh, Shemp um, and, and, and then end up going after Ape. Thomas Church, that's it. That's it. Thank you, Sumio. Yeah, he's in this. Again, really young, really thin. And um, so, yeah, the two goons in the end, the final battle, uh, when they have Ape 
or John Cleese's character in, in the cage. That was a really fun little battle for us to watch. We also like the battle with the lion to make the, the monkey look strong in front of its monkey friends. <laughs> you can tell I've seen this movie more than once. <laughs> and the, the time we watched it, my brother and I recently, the B and I, we were, we were just checking out. We're like, okay, is this thing still fun to us? Or is, you know, has it gotten kind of crappy over time? And no, it was still a delight to watch. You know, I I don't... It has that classic feel of, like... It kind of feels good to feel good with the movie. Not, like, in my opinion, how they would say it, it's like, ugh, cringy, ugh. It doesn't feel... This movie, not not very cringe to me. Maybe because I grew up with it. Maybe. But I've never been... I've never shown mercy to things I've grown up with that, uh, that now I find absolutely deplorable. And there are a few of those. But they will never be showcased here because I don't talk about things I hate. <laughs> Specifically in the world of entertainment. Hmm. But this one still has retained its charm. I feel George of the Jungle has retained its charm. And, um... <clears throat> uh, it's delightful to see that Sumio likes it. Um, I want to see, what else can I say about this movie that was uh, very fun? Well, the sound effects were very fun. Oh, the opening animation was really cute. Because this uh, George of the Jungle is based off of a cartoon, George of the Jungle. George, George, George of the Jungle. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, Thomas Church. Thank you so much, Sumio. And, um... Um, still makes me laugh. And now I'm going to get into the, some funny trivia that happened with this. Okay, so... Um, our grandmother, right? She loved watching children's shows. Kids' movies. Um, they're just very fun for her. <laughs> very funny story happens with George of the Jungle. Okay. I think for frame of reference, I want to see if I can bring this up. So anyway, so keep this in mind, okay? So our grandmother definitely watched this, right? She doesn't even have to watch it with the kids. She just watches them on her own. So let's see here. Uh, and um, let's see. I hope they have it up. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay, so hold on. Maybe they have the whole movie up. And, because uh, it's a relatively unknown movie. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe this is it right here. Um, bottom line, okay, so our, our grandmother um, liked watching these. And any cartoon, any children's show she could get her hands on, which is awesome. And growing up with that was very fun. And, um, oh, yes, yes, perfect. Okay, okay, so anyway, and, um, okay, our grandmother has a quick trigger finger. And when I say that, I mean... The remote control. If she was done with your show, she would just turn you off, right? She would mute it. She would change the channel. When she was done, she was done. And she was quick on the draw. That's what I meant by quick on the draw. And <laughs> let's, um, let's open this up right now. Okay, so look at this, folks. Here's the actual end to the movie, George of the Jungle. It's not a big spoiler because it's just the last scene. So there's the Lion King reference in the film, right? Okay, so watch this. So, okay, so here it is, so. We need to play for There you go. So it ends. It's the actual credits. Right? There it is. Wait, wait, wait. Don't you want to know what happened to Okay, so you saw that, right? <laughs> you all saw that, right? Okay. The wait, wait! Let's see let's go again. Let's go again. So it has because it has a mid credit scene. George, 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 George of the jungle. Da, 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 da. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you hear that? You hear that? Wait, wait, wait! And then the Scott scrambled at seven seconds. But our grandmother, when she sees that black credit screen rolling, she turned it off before the, the scene could show. And my brother and I didn't know the scene existed until we watched it again on our own. <laughs> she was so fast, even when Ape said, wait, wait, she didn't care. She wasn't listening. She cut it out before seven seconds. <laughs> Let's see where the wait wait comes in. Wait, okay, the wait wait comes in at five seconds. Five seconds, the wait wait comes in. But she turned it off before the scramble. If she saw the scramble, she would have left it alone because she realized, oh, the movie's still going. Nope. We were there. I saw it. <laughs> oh my god, I loved it. <laughs> Oh, that was so fucking funny. You saw how quickly that wait, wait comes in, so that way people don't skip it. 
Guess what? You weren't fast enough. Our grandmother skipped you. Disney, you have to make it soon. You gotta do it in one second, or she's turning you off. <laughs> oh. Sunil says, Jeep, Jeep mother, no. She did not like it. It's not that she didn't like it. It's just, you gotta show her results real quickly. She ain't gonna stick around. She ain't gonna stick around. Oh. <laughs> uh. And then every time we watch that movie, the B and I look at each other and we're just like, Ape talk, because that's a post credit scene with Ape, where he does like a scene show in Las Vegas. Very funny thing. But, and he sings my way. Very popular on my show here. And, uh, <laughs> and so anytime we watch this movie, we're like, B, how quickly did that show up? It's like, jeez, I remember I was there. Grandma, she turned that thing off so fucking fast. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, for that memory alone, and just the fun this movie presents, thank you, George of the Jungle. Thank you for the good times. Give it up for George of the Jungle, people. Celebrate your appreciation for this one. <laughs> oh, puts a smile on my face. Just remembering the trigger finger of our grandmother with the remote control. Boom, you're done. <laughs> and, okay. And this is the VHS days, by the way, folks. VHS, y'all remember that? The video cassettes? So it wasn't like it was a DVD where it's a quick pause, right? VHS, it took a little bit longer, I think, to receive the signal. It's a little slower. And she still got it before that thing happened. Unbelievable. Oh. Thanks, Graham. Okay. Yep, Withered knows. Sumio calls Withered a Zoomer, but Withered had VHS tapes as a kid. Ah, good. Yes. Yeah. Zip. Done. All right, folks. Next up, I want to get to the singing corner. I got a nice lineup of songs ready today. They are songs that are not original, original songs from the works in question, but they are songs that were used in several crime shows. So I'm going to be, taking, I'm going to be using songs from... Well, I'll tell you what, what movies are gonna, what movies and shows are from once I do the song. But they're not original songs, but they were used in the shows. And I'm excited because I've been wanting to sing these for a little bit to celebrate crime films. I like crime. Crime is very fun to watch. In the world of entertainment. It is not fun to watch on the news, obviously. Okay, so let's go to the standby screen. You're going to take five, and I will be back. And I will resume my latest um, BGM from where last left off. I think it was during You Know My Name. So I'll be back in five minutes, folks. Five-minute break. Relax, and remember to stay till the end. I have announcements to make about my King cover, so you be sure to stick around for that. All right. Never be enough. My sh if you take a life, do you know what you'll give? Odds are you won't like what it is. When the storm arrives, would you be seen with me? By the merciless eyes I've deceived. I've seen angels fall from blinding heights. But you yourself are nothing so divine. Just next in line. Calm yourself because no one else here will save you. The odds will betray you and I will replace you. You can't deny the prize, it may never fulfill you. It longs to kill you. Are you willing to die? The coldest blood runs through my veins. You know my name. If you come inside, things will not be the same. When you return to the night, if you think you won, you never saw me change. The game that we have been playing. I've seen diamonds cut through harder men. Than you yourself, but if you must pretend 
you may meet your end. Arm yourself because no one else here will save you. The odds will betray you. And I will replace you. You can't deny the prize. It may never fulfill you. It longs to kill you. Are you willing to die? The coldest blood runs to my veins. Try to hide your hands. Forget how to feel. Forget how to feel. Life is gone with just a spin of the wheel. Just a spin of the wheel. Arm yourself because no one else here will save you. The odds will betray you. And I will replace you. You can't deny the prize. It may never fulfill you. It longs to kill you. Are you willing to die? The coldest blood runs through my veins. You know my name. 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 Jeep. Well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? Oh, how we laughed and laughed, except I wasn't laughing. Under the circumstances, I've been shockingly nice. You want your freedom, take it. That's what I'm counting on. I used to want you dead, but now I only want you gone. She was a lot like you. Maybe not quite as heavy. Now little Carolyn is in here too. Bum, 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 bum. One day they woke me up so I could live forever. It's such a shame the same will never happen to you. You got your short, sad life left. That's what I'm counting on. I'll let you get right to it. Now I only want you gone. Goodbye, my only friend. Oh, did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. You're someone else's problem. Now I only want you gone. Now I only want you gone. Now I only want you gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are back. We're back. We're back. Let's get on to the singing corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we back. Thank you for the Ryu champ emote withered. All right. So I will tell you which film these are. I'm going to sing the song, and I want you to guess which show or which crime film I'm taking this from. Now, crime doesn't necessarily mean mafia-related. That was my mistake for saying that earlier in some previous tweets. Crime just means crime. Illegal activities as the theme. Not action. Not action movies. Action's a different kind of crime. Where, like, sure, there's crime going on, but it's really more about the shooting. So. 
<laughs> so let's see. First song on the list. Ah, okay. Let's see who knows what this one is from. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. Do I have uh, what I need ready? Where is it? Did I? Let's see where that was. Don't need that right now. Uh, where are you? Okay, hold on. Just gotta, I just gotta take. I just gotta grab something real quick. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, good. Okay, so you, oh, never mind. What am I thinking? I don't need that. Delete. Alright. What kind of background works for this one? Uh, I think this one. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to turn on my reverb because it's going to make this one sound more epic. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I still need that. I don't need this anymore. Let's just keep open. There we go. Okay. Get the music going. Let's get it up. Stay cool, stay sharp, emote. Thank you, Chia. Okay. Uh, nice seeing familiar faces. It's so much fun. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Now, I get annoyed with this one. This karaoke that I use has the uh, withered zoomer left my ass off. What the fuck are you talking about, Sunyo? Withered says, I have finished my homework just in time for karaoke. Oh, delightful. Okay, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Because. I don't This, this, this. This karaoke has that talking, singing voice in the background that can get really irritating. So I want it to be as quiet as possible. But you know, gotta make do. Here we go. Let's see if you all know what crime film this song is from. Mm. Let me mute that desktop audio. Probably gonna run into a, um, an ad. Oh yeah. Ha! Take that ad. Fuck you. Okay. Wither says, technically we could add Bakimi Tai to the list. Technically speaking, yes. But the thing is, I don't really know that song too well. I'll, do, I'll sing it for you all. I'll stick it in there somewhere. That is a crime game. That is very true. Haven't sang that one yet, so maybe it's time. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Let's see if you all know what this is from. And a one, and a two, and a... I know I'd go from rags to riches If you would only say you care And though my pocket may be empty I'd be a millionaire my clothes may still be torn and tattered mm -hmm. But in my heart I'd be a king mm -hmm. Your love is all that ever mattered mm -hmm. It's everything mm -hmm. So open your arms and you'll open the door to every treasure that I'm hoping for. Hold me and kiss me and tell me you're mine evermore. Mm -hmm. Must I forever be a beggar? Whose golden dreams will not come true? Or will I go from rags to riches? My fate is up to you. Anyone guess what movie this is from yet? It's 
Classic. Mm -hmm. 1990, solid. Mm -hmm. Best Picture nominee. Must I forever be a beggar? Whose golden dreams will not come true? Mm -hmm. Or will I go from rags to riches? My fate is up to you! Woo! Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta! You think I'm funny? Like a clown, like I fucking amuse you fun? Goodfellas! That's what the song is from. Goodfellas! All right. Pachi, 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 thank you, Withered Soda. I thank you, Chiga, for the love. Thank you, Sumiho, for, for the uh, light sticks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> okay. Let's go on with the next one. So, nobody, uh, Chia says, nice suit. Pachi, Pachi, Pachi. Thank you, Chia. So... I'm a little disappointed that nobody knew that one. Oh well. Moving on. Let's throw Baki Me Tai right here. Let me uh, mute that desktop audio. Here it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, delightful. I don't have any um. Um, what's the word? No, no ads. Excellent. Wither says, don't worry, Jeep. You won't be able to hear me, but I'll be singing this one along, too. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay, that sounds, that's great. Let's, uh, try go echo on this one? Now, nah, let's just go with my actual voice on this one. No alterations. You can see, you can feel more emotion that way. And you know, the disco ball still works, so, uh, <laughs> let's keep it. Okay. Here we go, folks. Bakami Tai. What's this from? <laughs> Dun 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 Bakami tai Kodomo na non ni Yume wo O te ki tsu ite Mmm Usu ga Heta na kuse ni Warare nai Egao wo mi seta I love you mo roku ni iwanai kuchi beta no ne ma ni bukyo I don't know the song sorry na no ni na no ni doshite sayonara ha ieta no dame da de dame yo Dame na na no yo, anta ga suki de suki sugite. Dore dake suyoi o sake demo yuga manai o moi de ga baka mitai. Granddad's belt, wherever you are, this one's for you, aka Ignis. And, uh, the first person to actually seen this one on stream for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't actually know that song, so folks, I'm sorry if I butchered it for you. I hope you enjoyed the rendition. <laughs> And that is from the Yakuza series. Crime indeed. Oh, thank you, Chia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Withered, you only butchered the timing. Otherwise, very good. Yes, 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 the timing was off. <laughs> thank you, thank you, though. Thank you, Withered. Okay. All right. Let's get the next song up. Let's see if you all know what crime work of entertainment this one is from. 
And I think for this one, let's see what kind of background I want. No, not that one. Uh, not that one. Uh, this one. I like this one for this one. Okay. All right. This next one. Okay. There you go. Now, now this one's probably gonna get an ad, so I won't hurt your eyes, your ears with that. Oh no, no ad, huh? Okay, I'll take it. Here we go. Let's go, my natural voice again. Let's get that audio running. Here we go. Let's see if you know what this one's from. Now, there are two crime films this movie is from that I am familiar with. So, I'll give you a hint with them this time. Uh, Denzel Washington, Russell Crowe, 2006 or 2007, I believe, was the film time. And the other one is 1997 with um, Pam Greer and um, Robert De Niro, um, Richard Fonda, Samuel L. Jackson. So, that's the other movie. <laughs> with it. This is why I use an ad blocker. Yes. I don't. Oh, well. Here we go. Those are two separate movies. Come on. Who knows this one? Ooh. I was a third brother of five, doing what I had to do to survive. I'm not saying what I did was all right. Mm -mm. Trying to break out the ghetto was a day-to-day -day fight. Been down so long, getting up didn't cross my mind. But I knew there was a better way of life that I was just trying to find. You don't know what you'll do until you're put under pressure. Across 110th Street is a hell of a tester, let me tell ya. Mm. Across 110th Street, pimps trying to catch a woman that's weak. Across 110th Street, pushers won't let the junkie go free. Across 110th Street, mm. woman trying to catch a trick on the street. Oh, baby. Across 110th Street You can find it all in the streets Oh, yeah! I got one more thing I'd like to talk you all about right now Hey brother, there's a better way out. Snorting that coke, shooting that dope man, you're copping out. Take my advice, it's either live or die. You've gotta be strong if you wanna survive. The family on the other side of town would catch hell without a ghetto around. In every city you find the same thing going down. Harlem is the capital of every ghetto town. Help me sing it! Across 110th Street, pimps trying to catch a woman that's weak. Across 110th Street, pushers won't let the junkie go free. Ooh, across 110th Street, a woman trying to catch a trick on the street. Ooh, baby! Across 110th Street, you can find it all in the streets. You can! Oh, look around you, look around you, look around you, look around you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. 
Across 110th Street. Bobby Womack. Jackie Brown did it. Quentin Terry Tino film, 1997. Also, like I said, 2008 or 2006 or 7. Uh, American Gangster. They both use the song. Pachi, Pachi, Pachi. Thank you, Chia God. Thank you. Gosh, am I like the only one who knows <laughs> where these songs are coming from aside from freaking Baka Me Tai? Oh, thank you, Chia, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get on with the next crime song. Ah, now, regrettably, there is no, um, hold on, uh-oh, it's bad. Ah, better. <laughs> with it says, like I said, Sumo called me a Zoomer for a reason. Yeah, that's true. I get it, but these are some classics, especially Goodfellas. You know, that, that's even, that's even, that should be, that should be pretty popular, even among the Zooms. The Zoom, Zoom, Zooms. All right, um, what's the perfect, ooh, I like that look for this one. Wait a minute, no, no, no. There we go. <laughs> okay. Like I said, unfortunately, now this one I gotta do a cappella, as there is no karaoke version of this. Sadly to say. Sumio says, Wither doesn't know Final Fantasy VII or Ocar 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 Ocarina of Time. Sumio says, Shame my Santa hat. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's alright. He doesn't have to know that shit. It's all good. Okay, uh. Do you seriously not have a, a, one, a one with lyrics on this? You folks won't be able to hear anything right now. You unlock Snake? Way to go, Sumio! He's playing Smash Brothers, folks. With it says, I've heard of Ocarina of Time, just didn't play it. Big difference. That is true, with it. That is a difference. Come on. You mean to tell me there's none with lyrics? Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, come on. It has to be. Come on. Oh, that's why I didn't type. Yeah, come on. Give me one with lyrics, please. Do I have to look it up online? Because if you look it up online, sometimes they really fuck that shit up. <laughs> Chia says, Guess it's a crime that my movie knowledge is lacking. <laughs> okay, I'm giving that one a seven. That's a nice one. Come on, come on, there has to be, uh... Okay, guess I'm gonna have to get the lyrics off of online, which I really don't like doing, because they sometimes mess the words up. But, it is what it is, right? Uh... <laughs> Let's get ready to rock and roll. Okay. No, I don't mean that fucking song, whatever the fuck that one is. Classic, thank you. Alright. So I'm gonna listen to the music, but y'all just gonna be hearing me. Here we go. Let's see if y'all know what this is from. Hold on. So, this is not a movie, right? This is a crime show. I wonder if you know where this one's from. We are about to find out. Mm -mm. Here we go. Dum bum ba da da pick yourself up. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dust yourself off and start all over again. Mm -hmm -hmm. Things impossible I have found. Hold on. I'm going to start again because the music is messing with me. Okay. I know what I do. I can't sing in tandem with the original and wonderful Nat King Cole, so we'll just go with the instrumental. Here we go again. Pick yourself up. Hold on, what the hell? God damn it. <laughs> I s you, you stupid YouTube, and you just don't know what the fuck you're doing with me here. It's like they don't want me to sing this song. Up yours! This is the one. Yes, here we go. Do, do, do. Pick yourself up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Take a deep breath. 
Dust yourself off and start all over again. Nothing's impossible, I have found. For when my chin is on the ground, I pick myself up, dust myself off, and start all over again. Don't lose your confidence if you slip. Be grateful for a pleasant trip and pick yourself up. Dust yourself off and start all over again. Work like a soul inspired until the battle of the day is won. You may be sick and tired, but you'll be a man, my son. Uh, will you remember the famous men who had to fall to rise again? So take a deep breath, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. Work like a soul inspired Until the battle of the day is won You may be sick and tired But you'll be a man, my son <gasps> Will you remember the famous men Who had to fall to rise again So take a deep breath Pick yourself up, uh, dust yourself off, and start all over again. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah! Now who knows that one? <laughs> Two thousand eight, Breaking Bad. Spoiler: the scene that it was used in, but that's the song is from. Thank you, Chia Pachi Pachi. Thank you, thank you. Awesome job, Jeep and Pachi. And you don't know? Nope, that's okay. Breaking Bad. <laughs> Fantastic scene that it was used for. All right, let's see now. What's another good one? Ooh, this is a good one. The psychedelic one. Withered says, Sumio, Nero, and I are now playing Smash. Oh, delightful! Delightful. Chia says, in my defense, unlike the others, I never saw that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Let's get the next song up. Okay. Oh, wait, I can turn... Um, now, this one is a familiar song, but I don't know if y'all have heard of this one. What, what, the crime film I'm using it for. Wither says, Jeep is welcome to join after the stream. I just might. I just might. Let's see, what time is it? Yeah, I just might. Might be able to put in a game or two. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Now, this is a very famous scene. So, even if you haven't seen the movie, I think you might know the scene that this is from. So, at least, you know, here's hoping. <laughs> okay, here we go. Get started. Ha ha! Fuck you, Ad! <laughs> Come on, you stupid ass. I got another song to do. And then one more after this, and then I'll talk to you all about my King cover that I have coming up. Alright, here we go. Let's lower the music down a little bit. Out there. Perfect. Alright, here we go. The crime film that this is from. If you can guess, it's a heist gone wrong story. It has Harvey Keitel, Steve Buscemi. Uh, Michael Madsen, Tim Roth, uh, and uh, among others. Here we go. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. 
I got the feeling that something ain't right. I'm so scared in case I fall off my chair. And I'm wondering how I'll get down the stairs. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> and I'm wondering what it is I should do. It's so hard to keep the smile off of my face. Losing control, yeah, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> when you start out with nothing and you're proud that you're a self-made man. <laughs> and your friends, they all come crawling. Slap you on your back and say, please. Try and make some sense of it all But I can see it makes no sense at all Is it cool to go sleep on the floor? Cause I don't think that I can take any more Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right Here I am, stuck in the middle with you <laughs> Mr. Blonde, you like my razor? When you start out with nothing and your brother, you're a self made man. And your friends, they all come crawling, slap you on the back and say, please, please. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I came here tonight. I got the feeling that something ain't right. I'm so scared in case I fall off my chair And I'm wondering how I'll get down the stairs Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right Here I am, stuck in the middle with you Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you Stuck in the middle with you Here I am, stuck in the middle with you Stuck, stuck, stuck in the middle with you. With you. Ha! Okay. So, <laughs> which crime film was that one from? <laughs>
Mm, nah. Even though the reverb sounds good, it kind of assists with the singing, right? It's fun just to sing with your actual voice. Mm, excuse me. Here we go, folks. Final song of the night. Modern crime film 2019. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Joe Pesci. Al Pacino. There we go. That's all you need to know. Here we go. Shoto, shobido, shoto, shobido, shoto, shobido. In the still of the night, I held you, held you tight, cause I love. Um, love you so promise I'll never let you go in the still of the night mm -hmm. I remember that night in May the stars were bright Oh, I'll hold and I'll pray to keep your precious love well before the light. Hold me again. With all of your might in the still of the night, love the night. So before the light, hold me again with all of your might in the still of the night. Love not in the still of the night. Still of the night, night in the still of the night in the still of the night, the Irishman. <laughs> Not Casino. The Irishman. I said 2019. Casino is 1995. Nice guess, though, Chia God. Good job putting those names together. Except Al Pacino was not in Casino. Good attempt, though. Good attempt. Ah, uh, thank you all for tuning in for this. I've had, I've been having a great time. How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing good. All right. Let's get back to the main stage and wrap shit up. All right. So, folks, first things first, I want to bring up that Thursday, that's it, just two days from now, two days only, instead of my usual Friday guest spot, two days from now, I'll be having the beautiful Usuki, Usu, known as Fig's wife, Thursday, September 8th, whoa, September 8th, that, that time is wrong, <laughs> my bad, September the 2nd, September the 2nd, Thursday, 8pm PST, Usu will be there. 
There we go. September 2nd. That's correct now. And there's something very special about September the 2nd. So, September the 2nd is actually my true six-month anniversary. But I'll be celebrating that Saturday on September the 4th. And for my six-month anniversary, I want to do something special. Um, so I did a cover of King. But not exactly a cover, right? All VTubers do covers. I did a parody of it. I wrote my own original lyrics, and I'm planning to unveil that on September the 2nd. However, since that is also Usu's guest spot, I do not want to take away from her being in the spotlight. So, exactly, Chia God, rewrite. Um, I do not want her to be overshadowed by my song in any shape or form. I mean, she wouldn't mind. I know for a fact. I, I know that's true. But I would mind. I, I would have a problem because I want it to be about Usu. I want it to be about Usu. She's the guest. So, I moved the time I'm going to release the cover. Here it is. Boom. Jeep's Kingish cover. I'm going to, I'll tweet about this tonight. Because, guess when I'm going to unveil this? I'm going to unveil it. Let's bring it back up. Going to unveil it. See, look, I'm right behind it. Ooh. Tomorrow, Wednesday, at midnight, CST time, Central Standard Time, which is technically my actual time. I just always use um, the PST because it's more popular. Um, but I'm actually Central Standard Time. And as a result, I got assistance from the wonderful Luna Mura and Sumio Santana, friends of mine. They are going to be streaming on that day at Luna Standard Time, which is 8 p.m. PST, which is 10 p.m. CST. They are going to be streaming Mario Kart or Luna Kart. And um, they were kind enough, after I asked them, uh, to raid me. After their stream. After their stream, it will certainly be midnight my time. And therefore, I will unveil it for all of you tomorrow at midnight after their stream. So if you want to know when my, when my show is going to be on, it's going to be whenever their stream ends. So I won't be streaming before then or doing anything. I'm probably going to watch the stream to enjoy it, the, the chaotic Mario Kart madness. But yes, so those of you tuning in to watch Sumio and Luna... At the end of their streams, you're going to come on over to Jeep's channel. We're gonna, I'm going to premiere the song. You're going to hear it. We can talk about it. I'll show you what kind of went behind the scenes to go in creating it. Much like Luna did when she did her cover of King to Hindi lyrics, which was awesome. And Luna was one of the inspirations for um, why I did this. Luna and Cepheus. Um, Cepheus also did a cover. So. so there you have it, folks. Tomorrow, already, I'll be unveiling this. I am like, super excited. I, 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 I put it all together, and I'm, I'm excited to, sh to, to, to show you. Luna and Sumio have already seen it, and so have Seth, because Luna and Cepheus were inspirations for it, so I showed it to them beforehand, and I showed it to Sumio just today, because he was kind enough to raid out to my channel once uh, the, the Luna cart ends. So, look forward to that, my friends, and now let's go and raid somebody while we're at it. I'm awake enough to... See, let's see who's online. Let's have a look-see. Let's have a look-see. <laughs> Who's online? Let us see. <laughs> of the night I heard you Heard you tight Held you tight Cause I love Love you so was another let you go mm -hmm. in the still of the night. Oh, hey, we've got a haiku online. Well, 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 let's raid the queen herself. Delightful. I hope she's not ending soon. All right, folks, let's see. What shall we have in the chat? Let's have in the chat a bunch of, uh, let's just do a bunch of GP modes. So if you don't have them, I'll put them in the chat real quick. So we're going to raid Queen Haiku. There you go. Nice uh, GP modes there for y'all. Here's the raid message right there. And, of course, 
Oh, that's a nice one, Chia. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So just copy and paste that, folks. Um, so I just want to say, everybody, uh, thank you all so much for tuning in today. I, I, I hope that um, you will tune in for tomorrow to, to catch the cover of King. And you will be reminded, as everybody will be reminding you, Sumi on Luna will be reminding you and hyping it as much as they can. I want to get as much traction for this thing as possible. <laughs> All right. No, thank you, Chia, for stopping by. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Thank you so much. I had a great night tonight. I was worried I didn't have enough content to fill out the nearly two hours, but I almost did it, so which is good. My shows are nice and concise, which is kind of nice. So, as I always say to my viewers at the end of every show, everybody, stay cool, stay sharp. And Jeep out to raid. <laughs>